do we have to make for Hero Academy? A thousand boxes? How am I supposed to make a thousand boxes by myself? Okay, box number one. Here we go.
All right. All perfect. Wow, three hours? How much more boxes do I have left to do? 999 more? Oh no, I can't do this. Hey Aiden, where are you right now? Can you come back to the studio and help me with these boxes? What? I thought you'd be back by now. I wonder where Kat is. Hey Kat, what's up best friend? Okay, listen, I need your help making boxes. A church just ordered a thousand boxes. Do you think you can help? Wait, wait! <sighs> Why am I stuck making all these boxes? Why am I the only one making these boxes? No, I can't do this. I promise to make a new habit for Jesus. <laughs> Happy Sunday, friends! It's Pastor Grace here. I'm so glad you joined us for worship this morning. Last week, we talked about how Jesus came to seek and save the lost. Jesus came to meet Zacchaeus, who used to be a very sinful man. Because of Jesus, Zacchaeus' life changed. He went from old to new. I want everyone to take out your reset finger like this and twirl it around and say, Reset from old to new. Friends, did you know that the Bible is God's written word? It's true. In today's Bible story, we're learning about how the Israelites were stuck in their old ways. The Israelites had sinned and did lots of things that displeased God. God sent them into slavery and they had been stuck in a land that they didn't even like. The Israelites completely forgot about God's plan. They lived without hope and were very sad. Just because they forgot didn't mean that God's plan had to stop. Some of the people remembered God's promises. That person was Nehemiah. Nehemiah had a big dream. His big dream was to help his Israelite friends who were struggling. Do you guys have a big dream? Let's take a look at what big dream Samantha has. Hi, I'm Samantha. If I could be anything, I'd be a construction worker. I build big tall buildings and houses for people all over the city. If I were a builder, I'd wear a hard hat, a tool belt, boots, gloves, and a shiny reflective vest. Keeping safe on the construction site is very important. Time to get building. I'd use my measuring tape to measure how big to make the walls of my building. I'd build my walls this high. As a construction worker, I would learn how to use all kinds of different tools. use a hammer to make the wood frames for the walls of my building. Or I would use a drill. But sometimes I need to use glue too. That would make my walls super strong. As a construction worker, I would use different kinds of materials to build with. I could use wood for framing walls, like in your room. Or I could use really strong steel beams that frame a really tall building. The frame is what holds up the building just like how your bones hold you up. There are a lot of different jobs that need to be done on the construction site. My builder friends and I would work as a super team. Just like Samantha, God has called Nehemiah to help rebuild the broken city wall. Nehemiah knew that God wanted to bless the Israelites by giving them the promised land. But the people were constantly living in fear. Even if they wanted to believe in God's promises, 
things around them were looking pretty bad. The damages on the city walls, they were so deep. This wouldn't be an easy job. Friends, what kind of tools do you need to build a wall? Well, you need a lot of different tools. I brought my tool bucket to show you. You would need some goggles. Probably some gloves. And also, you need to protect your head, so probably hard hat. Even with all these tools, the people were still discouraged. Nehemiah didn't lose hope. He trusted that if they cooperated together with one heart and one mind, they could carry out God's promise together. Nehemiah also knew that he couldn't do it alone. So he gathered all the people together and he encouraged them. He reminded them of God's promises. Some of the foreigners around them came and tried to stop them from rebuilding the wall. They even attacked them. Nehemiah told the workers, do not be afraid. Remember, the Lord who is great and awesome will fight for your family, for your sons and daughters, for your wives and for your homes. Friends, our God is great and awesome. Amen? Amen. He is so great that He can help us build big dreams according to His plan. He can also protect us from evil. Just like today's Bible story, God can use both you and me to carry out His plan if we're willing to cooperate. Let's put our hands together and pray. Dear God, thank you for reminding us today that we can cooperate together to carry out your plan. God, the church is a place where we can cooperate together. I pray that all of our Sunlight friends today will be able to listen and live according to your promises. Thank you for giving us a big dream to live according to your word. Would you bless our kids this morning? And in Jesus' name I pray, amen. Hey, Lily! Hey, Lily! Hey! Oh, you look a little down. Is everything okay? Pastor Sylvia, I don't think I want to do this anymore. Why? Why not? I can't make these boxes by myself. <laughs> of course you can. It's like, what, ten? It's a thousand. A thousand? What? When did the numbers go up? I feel like I'm not cut out for this job. There's no way I can make all of these by myself. Yeah, of course, I couldn't. You should have let us know. You know, I didn't, I don't expect you to do all a thousand by yourself. That's crazy. Yeah, but I just want it to be perfect. It took me three hours to make just one box. Well, here's another one. Done. What? Wow. It's beautiful. See, Lily? If we work together, we can do it. Don't let the numbers distract you from doing what God called you to do. New order. 2,000 boxes from Michigan. What? <laughs> okay, don't panic. You know, I'm going to call some people for help. We're going to be okay. We got this. Done. Wow, you're fast. I know. I get it from being a creation station leader. <laughs> oh, it looks very nice. Oh. Hey, John, do you think you can help us with some box packaging? Maybe. Hello, friends. My name is Sally, and this is my cat, Mittens. Say hello, Mr. Mittens. <coughs> Mr. Mittens says hello. Welcome to my art room. I love drawing. 
I love colors. I love shapes. There's so much to draw. What about you, friends? Do you like drawing too? Hey, I have an idea. Let's play What's Next. Oh, this is my favorite game and it's super fun. All right, all right. Here's how you play. First, I'll draw a special pattern. Then you have to think about what picture comes next. I'll give you some pictures to help you choose. Just pick the correct one and you win! Super! Yay! Do you think you can help me pick what comes next? Ready to play? Let's go! Here's the first one. Good luck! Got it. Did you get it right? Here's the next one. What comes next? Think carefully. Drum roll, please. Ooh, I think I got it. Here's the last one. What's next? You think you got it? Hmm, I wonder what it could be. Drum roll, please! That was a hard one! Hey, that was super fun! Let's see what Mr. Mittens will draw today! Beautiful! Well, it looks like it's time to go. I hope you had a fun time. See you next time! Welcome back to another Creation Station with Yuna. We're on the third week of our Reset campaign, so everyone take your pointer finger, put it to the middle of your chest, and say, from old to new. The key word for this week was cooperate. So today, we're going to be creating a craft called the Nehemiah Paper Bag Craft. The main passage for this week was that we need to cooperate together to carry out God's plan. You should have the supplies for this week's craft in the packet that you received from Easter Sunday. So go ahead and take out week three. You should also take out the paper bag that was included in your packet. Other than these two things, the other things that you will be needing for this craft are scissors, glue stick, and markers for coloring. There are instructions on the second page so you can read them and follow along as I do the craft too. First, what you're going to want to do is take your two sheets of paper and color in these images. You can color them whatever color you like, but I'm going to do purple. Okay friends, now that you have your images colored in, we're going to cut them out. So 
first we're gonna glue it on the head and take your paper bag and you're gonna glue on the head on the top part of the paper bag just like this. You're gonna glue down the body underneath the top part and then you're gonna put the shield on this part and then the pitchfork on the other part. Okay friends, put the shield on the left side and the pitchfork on the right side. And just like that, this should be what the final product should look like. And it's like a puppet so you can stick your hand in it. Just like this. <laughs> Remember friends, Jubilee is a special celebration for God's children. Reset means that we don't have to live in our old life, but we can have a new life. Nehemiah built the city walls from old to new, just like our Reset campaign. We can also have a new life if we put our faith in Jesus. Thank you for joining me for another week of Creation Station with Yuna, and I hope to see you all again next week. And remember friends, before you leave, take a picture of your beautiful creations and share them with us on Instagram or email us at sunlightkidsministry at gmail.com. See you guys next week. Bye!